Hello everyone, welcome back to Teacher Ezrin's English class. Today, we're going to look at Module 3, Wild Life, page 33. We're going to do activity 5, 6 and 7. The success criteria for today's lessons are You can listen and answer with at least 5 out of 6 answers, correct? And you can read and answer with at least 5 out of 6 answers, correct? For task 1, you have to listen and identify the animal sounds. Write the answers below. So you have to type in your answer in the box provided below. The audio will be attached in your Google Classroom and also in this lesson. So, so you have a choice whether to download the audio again and listen on your own laptop or device or you can just listen again through this YouTube video. Okay. So here, I've already given you six animals. So in this presentation, you can only see five but there's another one below here. So there are all together six animals. So six spaces of answers. So you can choose these animals here. So now, I will let you listen. So, once you have listened and you have decided the answer, you write your answer in the space provided here. Okay, ready? Unit 3. Vocabulary. Exercise 5. 1. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right, so those are the six sounds that you have to listen to and guess what animals are they. All right, next, moving on. Task two, you have to read and answer the questions. So here, look at the questions and check the meaning of the underlying words. What do you think the animal is? Textbook, page 33. So here, it already gives us the questions and the answers. So based on these eight clues of question and answers, you have to guess which animal or what animal is this. So for example, does it live in water or on land? It lives on land and in the water. So based on this clue, you have to guess which animal that lives on land and in the water. Next question, has it got wings, legs or a tail? It's got legs and a tail. So this is the second clue for what animal is this. Number three, how many legs has it got? Four. So another clue. The third clue for us to guess what type of animal is this. Alright, so basically, all these eight questions and answers will lead you to one answer. So once you have managed to guess the type of animal, you write your answers here. Then, you need to find the meaning of the words below. You can use Oxford Dictionary and write the answer in English. What does leaf mean? Water, land, wings, legs and tail. And you can also include the meaning in Malay. You need to fill in both meanings in English and Malay. For English meaning, you can refer Oxford Dictionary or you can also Google online the meaning for these six words. Alright? Next, activity 3. 
Look at the animals below. Identify their habitat, whether they live in the water, land or both. Color blue for water, green for on land and yellow for both. So basically, using these three colors, we have to color code the animals here and identify their habitat. Di mana mereka tinggal? Adakah mereka tinggal di dalam air, atas darat ataupun dua alam? Okay, for example, we have a crocodile living both on land and in the water. So we can color the crocodile with yellow. So I'll be giving you this Microsoft Word document. Okay, so here activity one. Okay, there are all six pictures here. You can choose the answers. And once you have decide which animal belong to which sound, you can type your answer in the box. For example, maybe just now, once you have listened to the audio, you decide number one is whale. So you type in the answer. Next, activity two. Look at the question and answer and guess the animals and write the meaning. So you can write meaning in English and meaning in Malay, like that, okay? And activity three, you have to color code the animals. So for example, let's try to find the animals that live in the water. So here we have camel, ostrich, butterfly, frog, panda, bear and snake. Do we have anything that live in the water here? I don't think so. Okay, let's look at the second line. Bat, spider, eagle, scorpion, gorilla, giraffe and cat. There's none also. And now let's look at the last line. Will, rat, crocodile, octopus, fish, elephant and rabbit. So down here we have some animals who live in the water. So here, will, so you click the box here and then choose this image shading click over here the down arrow and choose the blue color any blue it's okay it is acceptable as long as it is blue so you can take any blue over here so i want to take this one and just click Okay, so green for land. So maybe over here we have red. Okay, then click again, choose green. Both. So we have frog living both in the water and on land. So we choose yellow like that. Sorry. Okay, just like that. And then you have to complete the rest. So if you can find another animal uh, that requires yellow to be filled in the box, then you just need to, for example, butterfly. If you said that a uh, butterfly lives both in the water and on land, just click this symbol again. And you'll get the yellow color. Okay, and the same goes to the rest. Next, don't forget to submit your work to Google Classroom. Attach the file again and click Turn In. And that's all for today. Thank you.